Hello everyone, my name is Johan and in this episode of the Wild Art Diaries I wanted to share a little bit more about how personally I got into um, the safari industry and doing what I'm doing now with Wild Eye and it's, um, it's a question we get asked a lot when on safari is what sort of made you get into this and how did you, how did you do it? Um, to start off, I think for me, I'm based in Nelspruit, um, where I currently live and grew up here which is close to the Kruger National Park and as a kid we would go to Kruger quite regularly almost like every second weekend um, so naturally the the love for, for animals and wildlife started at a very early age but it was only really sort of from the age of about 11 uh, when my parents moved to Uganda that making a living out of guiding really became a possibility for me um, I remember going to, to go and see the gorillas as a, as a young kid um, seeing the lodge side of things and, and that's when I really decided this is what I want to do. Fast track sort of after school I then did my field guide training at a, a campus called Ulavani which it's in the Eastern Cape um, sort of southern uh, southeastern part of South Africa and think of it basically as a university or a college but in the bush so we stayed in the bush it's a year course um six months of it being theory and then the six months you get practically placed at one of the lodges um, this was a fantastic um sort of ground set for me to to start off my guiding uh, learning everything from grasses uh, geology tracks animal behavior um, there's about 18 subjects so a lot of things to take in and a typical day would be sort of a morning activity, either a walk or a game drive. And then you'll have lectures during the day. And depending what subject you cover, you will then maybe do an activity again in the afternoon. Um, so this was an unbelievable um, experience. Um, the, the guys that, that mentored us were unbelievable. And I'd highly recommend if you're looking at sort of going to the guiding industry, to definitely do a course like this it's definitely worth it so from there I worked at the reserve for about two and a half years and then moved over to Medikwe Game Reserve now if you've been following Wild Eye you, you'll see that uh, we still do photographic safaris in Medikwe and this is a reserve that really has a very special place in my heart um, I was there for about five years um, loved every minute of it. it it helped me grow as a guide um, but I then wanted to go and experience the back room side of things, if you can call it that. The, the managing of the camps, how they run, um, managing the staff. So my wife and I then moved to Zambia, where we managed the camp in the Lower Zambezi. And from there we then moved to Botswana, which was our last camp and probably my favorite that we managed um, in the Lanyanti, a uh, camp called Dumatao, beautiful location um, and we were there for about two years um, before we then expected our first child. Now probably one of the downsides of the safari industry is there are not many places where you can raise a family. There are a few but not many. Um, so we decided then to move back to South Africa, back to Nelspruit, um, and it was quite a difficult part to be to be honest because it was a bit of freelance guiding you kn it's great when you have business but you never really knew what was coming in the next week or the next month um, and eventually sort of after doing that for about a year year and a half I then approached Jerry and Andrew who I met in Medikwe um, to see if there's a possibility of joining the Wild Eye team dream job I know and Luckily for me, they, um, they were looking for a guide and here I am today. Very fortunate, it's about two and a half years later with WildEye and I've been fortunate to experience some unbelievable destinations um, including places like Mana Pools, South Luangwa, our camp in the Maasai Mara which is unbelievable and then as of next year, I'll be doing India which is an incredible um, safari, something that I'm very much looking forward to and just experiencing something out of Africa which um, 
which should be very exciting. Looking at the trip that Marlon did, which is Wild Eye's first one beginning this year, um, it's definitely a destination uh, to, um, to look out for and, and one that I'm very excited about. So that's my story in a nutshell. Uh, if you guys would ever like to um, know more about the guiding side of things or if you have any questions of how to get into the industry, please give me a shout. I'd love to, um, to hear from you guys and happily answer your questions. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Diaries. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.